going on everybody uh we are back we are back um another daily video you're gonna have to excuse me a little bit and work with me because i am under the weather and i could easily just not make the video but i really want to do at least one video a day and um i'm not feeling too well but i wanted to share some insights um for today's uh book that i'm still reading by abraham maslow that book is powerful if you guys want any type of recommendation i recommend that book uh, and you can leave me a message, comment, and I will definitely give you guys the title. Well, I'll give you the title. It's, it's called, um, look it up by Abraham Maslow, because right now I, can, I can't think much. Um, I'll be sorry. It's called The Psychology of Being and by Abraham Maslow. It's it's a in-depth book, a little bit clinical. It's a little bit, a lot of a lot of words. But when you start reading it in, de in depth, in detail, it is powerful in the stuff that he says. And I believe it's an old, really classic book. So... Um, I wish that I would have read that back in school, but obviously they don't um, let us read those type of books. So this is why I started the channel, and I wanted to just share some insights. And um, hopefully you guys are liking the, the, the Instagram. Um, it's going, it's growing organically. I'm partying up for Hmong, and I posted it today. So check up on that. So we're trying to start off a series, and we're, we're starting to do some other projects along the way. Um, and it's all the imagination. Um, so. The insight for me today was, in the book, he states, uh, all we are is, you know, what are we are right now? Like, basically, at, at the at the time right now, it is what it is, as they say, we are who we are now, and what we yearn to be. And that's not word for word in the quote, but I'm going to go ahead and post it on Instagram, and I believe that's a powerful quote, because I feel like sometimes we're not enjoying the moment, and we're not enjoying uh, the process, or enjoying the the hard work, the hours, the time. A lot of hours go into this. People think it's just you can jump on in and, and just make videos. Um, a lot of value you have to add. But I'm, I've am i gained a lot of respect for those that are, you know, doing well on YouTube and on Instagram because it is a lot of work, a lot of time, and a lot of organic, organic content, you know. So uh, most of my content I put, most of it is all myself, and it's, a lot, it's time consuming, right? But you know, I feel like it, it'll be more organic, be able to resonate more with others, my friends and family. Um, if you guys cannot understand me, I'm sorry, but I'm a little bit under the weather. Not a little bit, I am a lot under the weather. So, so I want to just jump on here and tell you guys, you know, everybody that follows me and stuff like that, and we're friends and stuff, like, we all have certain skills. We all have a certain uh, capacity. In my other videos, I said the same thing, but we don't, uh, we, we suppress it. We feel like it's not worthy and if i said in other videos you know as i as i face my fears and i put stuff up on instagram a lot of the time it's our fears of being ridiculed and and um you know being talked about these are fears that are real right but once you put it out there you really understand that it's just a mental block it has nothing to do with who you are as a person you are who you are and if it and if it's something that that's natural it flows um, and you like to do it, then do it. You know, I started as a writing blogs, but I'm not much. I, I, it's hard for me to write, so I said I'm easier talking. I love to talk. I'm always uh, debating, having conversations with friends and family. I like to pick people's brains. I think it's interesting how people think. Everybody has different way of seeing things, and we, and that's okay. We all different, and I love to see the difference. I love to see different perspectives. I love to pick, uh, pick and choose what I feel like will add value to me. Um, we all have our own lives, right? But. I think when you start being authentic to yourself, um, you it becomes easier. So, as I started my process, I was I, the actual actual really really uh, switch that I turned around was when I watched the Kyle C's video. If you guys get a chance, look up his YouTube. Um, he's like, you know, just go with it. Like, if your intuition says to make a video, make a video. You know, forget the lighting. You know, now I have a little bit of light uh, after you know a couple of months. But I first started with no lighting, just a regular camera. And it's probably not that good of a quality, but people can listen to your message, right? And as you go, you know, you get more reputation, you'll be able to build up better cameras, better microphones. But if you feel like you have to let out the message, you want to let out something, um, so be it. Like, sometimes you'll be surprised. I put up some messages on my Instagram and I like get a lot of replies and people are like, oh man, I think the same way. Um, I like your page. You start connecting with those that think alike and you start seeing that you're not alone. You're not the only one that has those type of thoughts you know the only one that that has been through certain things because i feel like struggle is what pushes you to be better um and we all need struggle right and either you stay in the struggle 
and you stay blaming yourself or you change it or you start actually changing your mind because in in that book he states it's all in the mind you know and also he also states that most of the time the environment all that stuff which is very controversial i thought the environment played in my mental aspect but he states most of the time the environment is has nothing to do with your mental aspect if you're going to be an artist you're going to be adept to like to draw and, and you're going to be um, more inclined to to love colors drawing painting and it's up to the teachers to guide you and help you but they can't make you a better artist you already have that within yourself and you have that uh, persistence that you want to do this and you will become eventually a great artist and you know and it's something that i felt like really woke me up because i used to blame the the school system and and the environment the the hood and all these things that we grew up in and the environment negative you know a lot of fighting a lot of violence a lot of um uh you know self doubt you know um you know there's no, actually no belief in yourself um you're constantly told by, by everybody that those people that make a certain you know make it to a certain profession they have to do this and this and that and then you're told what you should be doing right and you don't really look into yourself and understand like you know we have this new new world new opportunities and it's a different you know a different era right so you know before probably i probably wouldn't be able to jump on youtube but i could have probably being like a speaker or something or i don't know some type of voice in some type of issues or debating or stuff like that but i chose youtube because youtube is here and it's something we can voice our opinions and uh i'm gonna go and cut the video short because my daughter's on the side i'm trying to put a lot of fires out but the message is understand the process be aware of it enjoy it imagine where you want to be six months from now and remember enjoy now where you are right now it's okay just keep on dreaming, keep on imagining, and hopefully, not hopefully, it will turn out the way you want it. Take care, guys.